Welcome back to Amanda Marie NP. My name's Amanda, and if you're here, it is for one of three reasons. This possibly is a NP board review video for you. You might find yourself as a new mama looking to treat cough and cold in your infant or your caregiver. Regardless of which one of the three categories you fall into, this is going to be your video, and I'm going to be your girl. So what do you do when your baby can't breathe out of their nose while they're sleeping or while they're trying to eat? Well, our mainstay of treatment for the common cold is saline and suction. The nasal saline is perfectly safe. It's actually the same composition of the cells and the fluids that is found already in our bodies. There's no actual medication in it. It's basically just salt water. Teach your families this providers. And if you're an NP student, make sure when you're looking for test questions and trying to select the right answer that you would go with something like saline and suction prior to administering medication. What kind of saline do I use? Saline Saline nose drops can be bought over the counter at a pharmacy or grocery store, or you can actually make it at home. The important key here to remember is to make a new solution each time you go to suction and saline your baby. You're going to want a container with a lid, a measuring spoon, table salt, and a cup of warm water, not hot. The syringe that you can see in the background of this image is called a nasal Frida. There's also just the regular basic bulb syringe, and then there's also an electric nasal aspirator. And I will link all three in the description box below if you need to pick one up. So you're going to squeeze the air out of the bulb, keep the bulb squeezed, and then gently place the tip in the squeezed bulb into the nostril. Let go of the bulb and let the air back in. This will pull the mucus out and into the bulb. You're then simply just going to squeeze the mucus out of the bulb onto a tissue. Suction the other nostril in the same way you did the first. If the mucus is too thin, this is when you can use some additional nasal saline or prescribe respiratory drops. Gently wipe off the mucus around the baby's nose with tissues to prevent irritation, and you can do this a couple of times a day. Make sure that you wash the bulb syringe. Remember, infection control is key. We want to make sure that we are preventing causing infection. Soapy water after each use is a must. Squeeze the soapy water into the bulb and shake it around repeatedly until the fluid that comes back out, the water is clear. You can suction the nose three or four times a day, and if you do it too much or too aggressively, you can really irritate the lining of that small, cute little nose, which can lead to more mucus, more congestion, or they could have a little bit of bleeding from their nose. So make sure that these all are key teaching points that you are addressing with your families and you're looking for these non-invasive, non-pharmacological measures if you are using this review video for your NP boards. So go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you are looking for more videos just like this. Become an NP with me. I'm just an average Jane doing my thing, and if I can do it, you can do it too. Also in the description box of this video, you will find an email list that you can sign up where I'm sending out periodic encouragement to help you reach all of your healthcare goals. Thank you so much for watching today's video, and I will see you in the next one.